What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anthony and this is Watch With Me. Today we're going to be doing an episode on a gift guide specializing towards watch guys and girls. Some cool gifts that you can put, you know, whether it's under the tree or for Hanukkah or birthday or whatever. Um, often I find myself trying to get a gift for someone that's into watches and feeling like I need to spend so much money on a nice watch. Uh, so I thought I'd make this list that kind of starts at a more affordable price point and some cool gifts that you might not think about, but watch guys and girls absolutely will love it. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and do this list. Before we get into that, of course, a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my Rolex Daytona. This is a 16.528. It's an S serial number, which dates it to 1993 to 1994. Uh, enough of my watch, let's get into today's topic. All right, so number one on the list has to be watch tools. Now. I don't care if you're just getting into watches or you're you know, a real collector that's been collecting for many years and you have many different watches. Most people that like watches are gonna need a spring bar tool. A spring bar tool can be had for around 20 to $25 and I'm talking the top of the line spring bar tool that is an industry standard that all watchmakers use. I'll leave a link down below. The one you wanna get is a 6767-F. This is used for changing straps changing buckles, making micro adjustments, is the perfect stocking stuffer. It's like I said, it's only around 20 to $25 and everyone that likes watches, whether you're a beginner or a real seasoned collector, you're gonna need this and uh, you can never have too many because sometimes the tips will break. So number one on the list is gonna be watch tools and the first one would be like a spring bar tool. You can also look for watchmaker screwdrivers these do tend to get up there in price. You're looking at a few hundred dollars for these, but that's why for number one, I'm gonna just say a spring bar tool, an absolute go-to for a gift for a watch guy or girl. Number two is gonna be watch art. If they're into vintage watches like myself, what I like is if you go on Etsy or eBay, you can actually search for vintage watch ads. Sometimes they're just cut out of a magazine, but they're very cool. All you have to do is purchase one of these and get it framed. Most of these can be found between $5 and $20, and then I'm sure you can go to like a Home Goods or a Marshalls or something like that and get a frame and frame that, and they can hang it in their office. I've done that a few times. I think it's really cool. If you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can do uh, kind of watch artwork. I've actually did on a previous video, link down below on Lugcraft, and they do skateboard decks with engraved watches on the skateboard deck, and they look phenomenal. Like I said, I did a whole video kind of reviewing this. They do range from around 100 to 150 dollars, but a very cool gift, and I think it's very very unique. Next on the list is going to be watch books. Now. There is an endless amount of knowledge out there that you can get on, on blogs, on, on YouTube, but there's something to say about a beautifully uh, put together book on watches. Uh, one of my favorites that came out in recent years is A Man and His Watch, but there are many other books out there. Uh, you can search Amazon or eBay for these. Just like with watches, with watch books, you can end up spending in excess of two to three hundred dollars or even into the thousand dollar mark for watch uh, watch books. But keep in mind, you know, if you're looking for a more affordable price point, you don't have to spend that kind of money on a watch book. It's more or less they're gonna look through it a few times and it's gonna be a coffee table book. But again, a very cool gift for a watch guy or girl that I know I would absolutely love. And of course, another idea would be watch straps. Now with watch straps, you can be spending $10 or you can be spending hundreds of dollars. One of the companies that I like very much at a more affordable price point to kind of mid-level would be Crown & Buckle. They do have kind of their premium line as well, which I do have on one of my uh, vintage Nava timers. But you can do a NATO strap for just 20 or 30 bucks, or you can do a distressed kind of vintage suede leather kind of strap for about a hundred dollars. A very cool gift that I'm telling you any watch person would love because more often than not, you know, it's very cool to kind of change out their straps and the, a watch strap could be a great add-on gift with that spring bar tool. So you can do both together. If you're looking to get a bit of a higher end leather strap, uh, there is a company called Jean Rousseau. Jean Rousseau does make the leather straps for companies like Vacheron and Constantine, so you know the quality is there. If you happen to be watching this and you live in New York, in New York City on 46th and Madison, Jean Rousseau has their own shop. You can actually go in and custom make your strap. You can pull out the hide right in front of you, pick where you want to cut. You can pick the stitching, you can pick uh, the color of the lining, 
they custom it to your wrist so it fit absolutely perfect. You can do a gift card there and have your your friend or girlfriend or wife, husband, whatever, go there and custom make it. I think that would be an unbelievable gift. So that's another one for you guys. Next on the list is a watch. Now, I know in the beginning of the video I said, you know, I'm kind of in that stage of collecting where yes, I do have some high-end watches, but I also really enjoy micro brands or very kind of entry-level watches. And one of my favorites that is a more affordable price point is the Seiko SKX. I think it's an iconic watch that still holds up uh, in a higher end watch collection. These can be had for a few hundred dollars, whether they're just starting out in their watch collecting journey or they're deep into it. Uh, I think they can really appreciate this watch. If you can spend a few hundred dollars extra, uh, a micro brand that I absolutely love is Baltech. Um, you are gonna be you know, in the thousand dollar mark, which I understand is a lot of money, but a very unique watch that I think most will like. Uh, another cool watch out there that has some brand recognition is the Hamilton Field Khaki watch. I did a top five video on the Watch With Us channel featuring this watch, very cool. I'll also leave a link down to that video below. Last on the list is gonna be what I would consider one of the greatest watches of all time, and that is the Omega Speedmaster. Now, this is the most expensive item on the list, but I do think this is one of the most important watches in the industry, and that is the Omega Speedmaster. This watch, brand new, is just over $5,000, but the great thing about this watch is it's been around for so long, so whether you're going vintage or brand new, they can be had in the $3,000 mark. Like I said, I know that's a lot of money, but if you're, if you're really kind of saving up for a special gift for someone, I think this gift really will say something quite special because this is one of those watches that, you know, whether you know you save up and it's your one watch only, or you're talking to a watch clerk that has millions of dollars in watches, they'll have this in their collection. It's a very important watch, and uh, I think something that really would be something special, maybe a wedding gift, or uh, if you're just balling and you wanna give your good friend an Omega Speedmaster. That's gonna be a short list for some cool ideas of some watch gifts that you can give to you know, uh, a guy or a girl that you might not be thinking of so often. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we automatically think you have to get watches, but there are very cool uh, kind of watch gift ideas out there as well. well. That's gonna be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below. What are some of the ideas that I missed that are really cool? Or what are your favorites that I've mentioned? Um, as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos and liking. We are getting closer to 500 subscribers. Once we get to 400, I'm gonna announce what I'm gonna be giving away at a 500 subscriber mark. We're approaching to just about one year since I've been doing this, and uh, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it, and it just still blows me away that I have as many subscribers as I do. Uh, I'm hoping 2020 we can get to at least 1,000, or perhaps more. I also do the Watch With Us uh, YouTube, page and Instagram so if you haven't checked that out already please do so and until next time guys take it easy